Gamers, welcome back. Today we'll be talking about Watch Dogs, the brand new open world game from Ubisoft. You probably heard about this game from the media, the viral videos, all sorts of outlets. The game is pretty hyped. Everyone wants to know, does it live up to the hype? That's for you to decide for yourself after watching this video. I'll tell you a little bit about my opinion about it and I'll help you decide if this is right for you. And you can also, you know, learn about more about the content and prepare yourself for what you're getting yourself into. I definitely don't want to spoil the story too much for you guys, so I'll tell you just the beginning of the game, how it starts off a bit. But the story of Watch Dogs begins with you uh, seeing a series of cutscenes. The beginning shows that you are going to be playing as the protagonist, Aiden Pierce, who is on a job hacking with another man, Damien, in a very highly secured area. When the next thing you know, someone trips the alarm and Damien wants to go deeper into what's causing it. Aiden decides to take action and call off the hack by uh, running off. And by doing so, he has affected his family and caused a series of tragedy which will cause him to go hunt down the perpetrator behind it uh, starting with the man who's going after him in the beginning which is Maurice. Maurice uh, will be the start of your game pretty much. Now rest assured you're not doing this hunt by yourself because you'll be aided by key role characters later on in the game uh, to hunt for the perpetrators one of which you'll meet early in the game is Jordy who is also badass as you can see from this video and also bad boy who will talk to you later on. I won't reveal more characters because you're gonna have to play the game to figure it out for yourself. So right off the bat, you can hear that Ubisoft put quite a bit of effort into the voice acting in this game. The actor who played Aiden did a great job on him, great acting, fits his character role really well. The other characters that you'll meet later on in the game is good, but the, unfortunately they do have short dialogues, but they did a great job on their parts nevertheless. Wish there was more of it, hopefully in the future we'll see more. So I had no problem with the voice acting in this game whatsoever. The other thing I want to compliment is the uh, script that was written between the uh, conversations. You can actually listen in on people's phone conversation and when you do listen in, those actors, great job on their part also. Uh, really well done and that adds to the immersion of the game, which I really like. Another thing is the sound of the guns, the environments, everything else is great also, especially if you're listening on surround sound. I also love the music to this game. The pieces are really well done and accompanies the situation really well. They play a key point. They do a great job on that. Now next we're going to talk about the juicy parts about the game, uh, the graphics and also the gameplay and I'll talk about more about those. So I'm going to get in depth into those. Uh, the thing about the game's graphic is this is the PC version of the game. The graphic is really intense for this game. You need a really super powerful system for the game. That's the requirements. Is it unoptimized? Probably. So it needs work on optimization but I am using the newest NVIDIA drivers, uh, test drivers if you want to call them that. So. I had no problem with frame rates if I set my textures to high. As you can see, these are the menu for the texture settings. Now, I've been playing a lot of PC games for a long time on the 680s, maxing out graphics, getting great FPS, overclocking when I need to. This game has definitely went over my card a bit, so I had to upgrade to a 780 just to play it with maximum settings. I definitely ordered a 780. This is the first time a game has actually made me upgrade my card so I definitely want the full experience just to see what it's like and to you know experience it but nevertheless if you tweak around with your card a bit you still get good graphics which is decent to play the game in I mean unless you really want the full-on blast of eye candy that this game comes with and when I tell you eye candy it does certainly looks beautiful in terms of uh, in terms of the graphics Again, I also want to add that the environmental effects in this game is great. You'll experience weather changes. Uh, one of my favorite is definitely storm and also windy weathers because they'll make the trees fly around. You can see the trash moving around. It's pretty cool in terms of the uh, graphics and the physics in the game. It's all there, so it's really nice and well done. Uh, now we get into the real core of the game, the gameplay and what the game offers and the other tidbits. The first thing... First things first is, you know, I had a good friend of mine who asked me, Yo, Ken, how's the hacking in this game? Is it sophisticating? Can you hack everything? I love hacking. You know, I saw the videos. It looks amazing. Uh, I'm going to call him Jay for his sakes because he's a really big programming nerd who buys into the hype real easily. Who was really disappointed when I made my response about that because he didn't follow the game whatsoever except from the advertisement. The hacking is sort of a gimmick. It's a superpower in the game. Basically, the default control is Q. And to answer that, it's to hold Q to hack. Hacking is really easy. You basically target something and hold Q to hack it. Aside from hacking the CTOS network, which involves you to solve a bit of a puzzle to hack, because in order to get into people's phone in this game, you need to hack CTOS network first. 
which is the security of the game. They're the guys that call the police on you, they track you down, etc. So you have to gain access to them first before you can get into the main infrastructure to hack people's phone. Uh, depending on the area you are in, aside from that, some of the things you can hack in your everyday places are like cameras, certain machines, explosive pipes, billboards, bridges, traffic lights, of course, things on people that causes explosions and also radios to distract enemies. The game is mainly about using these hacks to distract your enemy, to kill them, and to get past your enemies. When you uh, sneak past them, you know, you definitely want distractions. So that's what hacking is for. Sometimes it can get repetitive because you, you know, you're basically moving from cameras to cameras to access certain things. Hopefully in the future we will see more of it and more things to hack because this is a really cool concept, you know, in the making. So it's an early concept of it. So in the future we'll definitely see an improvement on this system. You can uh, earn more hacks through the perk tree. There's a big perk tree. I'll explain it in a bit and show you what the perk tree looks like but the perk tree allows you to hack helicopters disable them and also the most powerful hack is probably the blackout which causes a cool effect if you watch the video you've probably seen it already uh, in, in the part where I did it it's it's shown early in the game so you you see what it looks like and you get to earn it later in the game you get to pull it off a lot of times it's really fun and it's really cool causes a lot of confusion and craziness uh, best hack in the game but aside from the hacking, there's also the tools creation in this game. When you collect certain materials, you look around for them, and you can create tools out of them. Tools will basically help you accomplish your mission better. It's uh, one of the early tools you saw me use. I don't want to spoil the rest of them for you. was a distraction tool. You'll see that early in the game. What that did was you create the distraction tool, you throw it against the wall, and you can hack and create noises from it, and it draws guard away. So it's a very useful tool for stealth situations when you really need it to get past a lot of guard. But anyways, like I said before, I'm going to go back into the hacking of people's phone and explain more about that. Uh, like I said before, you can't go into an area and just hack anyone you want. You have to infiltrate the CTOS network. But once you do that, you can you don't really interfere with people's life like the uh, you know the commercial was hyping up about. Uh, it's only a good handful of people that you can interfere with that leads to a story. But hacking people's phones allow you to earn stuff such as perks, vehicles, weapons. Uh, you can gain cash when you withdraw from the ATM or read text messages that are pretty funny and listen in on conversations. Uh, listening on, in on conversations can actually enable other missions which will help you on your way because sometimes I just like to walk around listen in on folks and all of a sudden you know this mission pops up and it's basically telling you hey you gotta catch this guy you know your choice is to either catch this guy without being caught to get more uh, more bonus out of it or you can kill him and earn less out of it and which will also cause the police to go after you. Also another thing I want to add is you can see the AI walking around right there they're really decent in this game not bad at all the enemy AI can be kinda stupid at times but they're still pretty decent uh, not bad. Hopefully in the future we'll see a better upgrade on the AI, but for now they're decent for what they're doing. Uh, you can see their everyday lives if you follow them and see what they're up to. So they do different stuff in this game. Uh, next set of scenes you're going to see is basically just me walking in two different areas of town. Uh, I'll show you the entire map afterwards, but basically two different areas. You'll see me walking down the street. There's NPCs everywhere. You can definitely, definitely look at an NPC and see a story background behind him. A little sentence will tell you, hey, you know, this guy is a psychiatrist. This dude is a bank robber, you know, so on and so on. And you can see how the hacking works yourself and see what it really does. This is what the hacking does, earning perks, just, you know, every day walking down the street. So they live, they live true to what they said about the concept is that you can hack into everyone and that's literally every single NPC in the game so that's a really cool aspect to the game uh, listening to the NPCs however even if you're close to the NPCs and they're on the phone talking you can't even hear their phone conversations outside of it you have to hack it to actually hear the phone conversations so that kind of breaks immersion for me at times but you know I kind of ignore that since that's just a little thing this guy is definitely pissing in public rude Anyways, as promised, here's the hack tree, what you can earn, the perks. Uh, you can take a look at this if you want to. If you don't want to spoil it for yourself, you don't have to, but you're going to see it anyways in the game. So why not take a look at it early and see what you want to invest your points into. But in the beginning of the game, you get a certain amount of points you can invest into. You look at the trees, you see what you want to get into, and you want to spend your points wisely because there are certain things you want to do. For example, I want to take a look at this hack. I want to stop a train if a person tries to run away. So some of the uh, hacking is really cool in this game. Uh, especially down the tree so you get to do more hacks that are really cool
Aside from the different amount of perks you see in the perk tree, there's also different unlocks you can see. There's cars, there's vehicles, there is uh, a lot of gun unlocks, online unlock, you name it. It's all here in this tree. You can take a look at it for yourself. I'm going to expand the tree out and show you what it looks like. It's a lot of stuff you can unlock, which is really nice for the game because there's a lot of unlocks you can do, uh, which gives you a goal for playing the game, running around, and actually doing the side mission because it's actually worth it. One of the last thing I'm going to talk about this game is the invasion aspect of the game, the multiplayer, and what other things you can do in the game. Uh, the multiplayer is the funnest part of the game, guys. It adds more replayability to the game. A uh, player can actually interfere with your game. They're called a the fixer. It's not even that bad. You definitely want to go online to do this. I mean, you can actually enjoy the game offline, but having it online, you enjoy the heck out of it a lot more because it's like 25% of the content right there. Um, but a fixer basically tries to hack you and your job is to kill them or catch them before they get away and you know they take some money from you and eh, so what but you can kill them and that's the best part about it so definitely you don't want to turn this this mode off because it's really fun and enjoyable uh, if you enjoy that but if you don't like it hey you have the option of turning it off so it's there for you if you want to do that like I said before guys, there's besides just invading, there's other things you can do in the game like hacking and doing racing and doing uh, online free roam and also the, uh, the CTOS mobile contracts. You can log on your mobile devices and you can actually do contracts where you stop other players, which is really fun. So don't skip out on this aspect of the game. Don't go offline like I said before because you're going to miss out on a lot of good content right here. Finally, and not least, some of the other things you can do in this game, there's a mobile app on your phone. You can actually, like I said before, set up media, set up song lists. Uh, you can also enter mini games that you can do, which is really fun. I'm going to show you one of the mini games that is really enjoyable to me. One of which I played a lot of was the Demolition, and also I did the Spider Tank, and uh, my favorite was the Psychedelic. Psychedelic was the best. I'm going to show you this video uh, while I talk about the conclusion of my summary about this game. Uh, one of the interesting aspects in the game I noticed, I just wanted to add this in, was that the NPCs does change in situations for this game. Even though the situation is the same, if you mention it in the game, you're never going to realize which NPC it is because it changes. For example, one moment it can be this guy, the next moment it can be that guy, the girl changes, you know, race, shape, size, color, everything changes around. So it's the same situation, but the NPC changes depending on your reload, so it's never the same. It adds a bit of replayability can break immersion for some it's really confusing so you can only describe it as what you see it as so it's always uh, confusing to some people what's going on that's just to give you a uh, heads up on what's going on when you notice NPC changing so it's a little cool tidbit I threw in there for you guys if you're playing the game anyways in summary to everything I've said before like I said you know great gameplay great graphics great music great sound effects uh, great story uh, especially it's great story if you rush through the game it will probably beat it in about like what 10 12 hours if you rush it uh, if you don't rush it and actually play the game properly and experience the multiplayer and all of the other stuff you're gonna take like a couple of days on this game it's got a lot of you know time on it so take your time enjoy the game uh, remember like I said before you know it's got a lot of great concept in it you'll like it sometimes it can get repetitive uh, the driving is the only thing I didn't like much about the game but everything else I like perfectly fine. Uh, immersion wise also is pretty decent and good. So this is a very enjoyable title to pick up. Watch Dogs guys. If you uh, want to check out more about it you can visit my stream channel. But otherwise you know remember to get the game for yourself. Enjoy it for yourself. And game on. Thanks for watching.